Hello my dear friends, welcome to Fortran Academy. My name is Harshwats and today we are introducing Slicer in Power BI Desktop. Power BI Desktop is an analytical software that will help you in understanding your data set through various visualization in different data models. Now let us go further and talk about the point to be discussed in this video. So in this video we will particularly talk about two points. In the first point we will introduce slicer in your visualization and secondly we will perform multiple selection in your slicer. So to understand these things you have to go into a Power BI desktop itself. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and discuss all these things. Now we are in Power BI desktop in a data model interface and specifically in a report view because only in report view you will be able to see the visualization. Now let's get back to the question of this video about introducing slicer. So slicer is only or can be introduced if there is interactivity between visualization. Like when I click on the Asia you will see there is changes that is happening in our data set like we have got into the different part of asia because of the the drill down option if i unclick on it and again get back to the drill up option again if i click on the asia i will be able to see making changes in our adjacent visualization now let's introduce the slicer option and why it is required now first of all let us click anywhere and get back all our data so why the slicer is required like if there is interactivity between the two adjacent charts now i want to make something that which i can choose from specifically like i want to choose a specific year like on the basis of 1950 what are the things that are population by region name and population and population or percent of female by year and region name specifically i want to understand that on the basis of a single year and i want to give a slicer that option that is where slicer come into role which plays a crucial role in power bi desktop especially in your visualization so how do I introduce that? To introduce that you have to go into the visualization pane. In a visualization pane you will see that here is a slicer option that you want in your visualization or in your chart. So I will click on it. So you can see here that so here you can see what mistake I have done. I haven't put it in into a report view. I have just selected one visualization and change it to another. I do not require that. So again we go back into clustered column chart and how do we introduce a slicer? So for that you have to just click anywhere in a report view and see none of the visualization should be selected. So after that we will click on a slicer and you will see there is one box that prompt up in your report view and this is a slicer so you can see this one is a slicer so first of all we will put it somewhere in the upside of a report view so we can directly see the slicer so here it would be good to put a slicer so we can decrease its size by this much and now after decreasing its size we can also decrease the size by little much more so it won't disfigure our visualization. So it won't disfigure our two chart. One is the line chart, another is clustered column chart. Now after clicking on the slicer, you will get into a visualization section pane and you will see in a field option, there is only one column that is available to you that is fields, add data fields here. So I have told you I want to do on the basis of year. So I will introduce a slicer on the basis of year. And you can introduce on the basis of anything you want. First we will do it on the basis of year. Then I will tell you on the basis of other things how you can do. So first of all in a fact population group you will go into the year. Just click with the left mouse cursor drag and drop it into the field section. So after putting years into the field section, you will see there is not much that you can see in your slicer. So to understand that, first of all, we have to just decrease the size of our visualization. So we will see easily that what it is in our slicer. 
so you can see there is things that are available in our slicer which we won't be able to see earlier due to color so again we will increase the size of our slicer so you will see there is one line that is available to us that we can see from now you would easily see the slicer but we will make a few changes in a slicer so you would be able to understand the slicer in much prominent way to do that we have to go into the visualization pane and specifically in a format section when i go there there are things that are available to us that a slice header like year it is not necessary because we can understand from the 1950 to 2100 that it is a year specific so i will remove the header so it's better this way after that numeric input is there so you want a numeric input like this input which is available to you if you want that you can use that or if you want to increase its size and width you can do that like i am doing this so i think it's enough to understand the background we will change so we would know that we, these are the filling forms so for black uh, we will change the contrast of it we will make a background black and font color will be white so you would easily understand that again it's better this way after just dropping down and after moving on from the uh, numeric input we will go into the slider so that is on if i just put it off you won't be able to see any slider you just have to put the number in here like 1970 and click on enter so your data will be changed in here from the 1970 to 2100 only the data will be available if i put in 1980 here the data will be changed because it's of now 10 year only now you can see it's of just 10 year so i need a slider also for that i will click on a own you will be able to see the slider if i want to increase the dimension of my study I can increase it by like this and just rolling it in until the end of the line then you can see it's from the 1970 to 2100 if I want to change any dimension 1966 uh, till 1966 to 2100 and for a particular year I can do this 2099 to 2100 and so on so forth i will change the dimension of it as according to my need again i will go into the format section uh, so you would understand what are the things that we can do with a slicer so we have a slider we want to change the color so you can do that also like i want a red that is also available now after closing it if you want a title i do not require it so i haven't put it if you want a title you can also put that also but i do not require it and if you want to change the background because it is like a white and it is hard to understand so if you want a background you can also do that if i just put it on the background will be on but you won't be able to see anything because the background which is selected is actually in a white color so if i put anything like a gray you will be able to see the slicer in much better way now so i will decrease or increase the transparency so it won't be making much of a difference so now it is much better so so after doing the background changes we will move on to another thing that is important to us that is border if you want a border you just click it on and you will get a border now if i click in here you will see there is border in our slider and if you want to change the dimension of a border you can also do that but just clicking on it and again going into the format section again border when i click on it there is things available to that is black radius and these are the things you can do and make changes so now we have introduced a visualization now the thing come into our mind how do i change it i have already told you also like you can put a particularly year which you want to work on like i want to work from the 2000 to 2010 
I will just put in and write the 2000 to 2000 after that clicking on enter you will see there is changes in your slider as well slider and changes in both of your charts this is a line chart and this is a uh, clustered column chart which is specifically showing the data of these 10 year and I want to particular for the one year I can also do that just clicking on a backspace after that just writing 2001 now you will be able to see the data of one year so if you want to increase it by slider you can also do that just by clicking on the end of it and increasing its dimension till the end of the line and again from this side also you could do that this is how you will make changes in your slider so i hope you have understand what is the use of a slider because it increases your interactivity in between your charts so this is how you will make a slider or you can say a slicer in your data set so this is how you will make a slicer in your data set in visualization now i have put the specifically year in my slicer you can see in the field section i do not require the slicer for that now i want it for region also but i can do that through by cancelling it from the year and i want a region name just drag and drop into the field section when you will drag and drop you will see there are options available to you after introducing the region name in a field section we will see there are changes in our slicer now we have a region name asia africa europe and specific for each uh, region now if i click on a particular region you will see the underneath uh, chart will be changing and showing the data of a specific country which we have selected here and if i want to make a few changes like i want to select a multiple uh, countries how do i do that either you can just click on a control and click on asia you will see now europe and asia is selected again i, I click on a control and after that clicking on africa now three countries are selected and if i want to make a changes that if only one country will be detected how do i do that you can introduce that from the visualization pane in the visualization pane again go into the format section in the format section you will see there are few new things that is available in this particular format bar which is not in our line section which we have done just for introduction of our section which is just we have done just a few seconds ago now into the selection control you will see an option that is single select when i put it on you won't be able to do multiple selection you will do only one point selection i do not require that so i just put it off so in here you will see multiple select with control that is why we are able to make a command in which we can do a multiple selection and if you want an option that is select all option you can also do that by just clicking on it there is one option that is select all if i click on it all will be selected if i again click on it all will be unselected so i do not require it because i have a multiple selection with control and select all will just occupy some space i do not require it so i just put it on the off and so after closing the selection control we will see the other option that is slicer header which we do not require that's why it is an off as in my previous uh, example i have shown you why it is used if in the items what is it we will show you in the item there are things that is available to you that is outline formality if you want to change the item uh, font size you can do it from here like just increase the size of it you will be able to see the dimension now if i in increase its size you will be able to see the whole country uh, now you will be able to see the whole region name so this is how you will make changes in your slicer again just put it back in the items after that moving on into the differential that are things available you can do from your slicer this is how you work on your slicer so i hope you have understood the whole concept of a slicer if you want one more example with a slicer i would give you so for that again i do not require a region name i will put a country specific so if i put a country specific in a region name i know it will create create an haphazard but it is sometimes useful if you just want to know about the country i put it into the field section so after putting into the field section you will see there are a lot of data that you have and you want a particular specific country you can also do that so this is how you will introduce a slicer 
if you want to make changes right again again you have to go into the format and again general and all these things are available so before going any further i will tell you one more thing like earlier when we are in region name so when we are in region name there are things that are difficult for us like when i put it again into the region name there are things like it is in a vertical now i want it horizontal how do i convert all this into a horizontal thing because it is occupying a lot of space and i do not have that i want and because this is less data also i want it in a horizontal for that again you have to go into the visualization pane and particularly in the format section for that you have to just click on the general section in general section you will see an orientation that is vertical for now i will put it on a horizontal now you will be able to see the asia africa europe north america and for the multiple selection just click on the control after that europe you can do a multiple selection this is how you will use a slicer in your power bi desktop and for interactivity in between your visualization so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope your queries got clear and if not kindly write us in comment section we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day